What's up miners, welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to mine SafeMoon. We are going to use the Unminable app and then we are going to go in another way of mining with the mining programs directly for the CPU and GPU. This will uh, give you better performance. So the first thing that you need to do is to get a wallet so you can receive the, your funds. I would recommend you to use MetaMask with the um, Binance Smart Chain Network added to it. This is a BEP20 token. It runs on the Binance Smart Chain Network. So get a wallet with support for that, for BEP20. Just to give you a, an idea, uh, SafeMoon in CoinGecko is ranking uh, 118. The price is very, very low. This makes it um, ideal to mine with the Unminable because you are gonna get a lot of coins. So after that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna place an exclusion on a folder. So just open up your um, menu here and type Windows Security. Go to Virus and Threat Protection, Manage Settings, scroll down to Exclusions, Folder, and then you can create an, a, a desktop uh, under the desktop a folder Exclusions and just set it there. This will allow you to download all the um, programs that are necessary without them being flagged as malware, even though they are not. So the next step is to go to unminable.com slash miner, download the file on the left, save it inside the folder. And in Chrome, you can play, uh, press Ctrl J um, to keep the dangerous file, okay? So Ctrl J, keep dangerous file, keep anyway, show in folder. And once we get this file, we just extract, click extract here. And then we get this, the unminable miner app. We right click it and run as administrator. Once the program loads, just click continue, select GPU if you have a graphics card with at least 4 GB of memory, otherwise select CPU, um, then just uh, search for SafeMoon on the list, enter your address, use this code E4XD-WMZL, this will allow you to drop the pool fee from 1% to 0.75% and, and click start. This um, uh, will start the process. You will uh, get the, um, the hash rate on the bottom left corner. This will confirm that we are mining. You can check the settings, make sure that intensity is high. You have a name for the worker, the code is there. And this should be around 1,300 for me. Let's uh, wait a couple of seconds. We have it there. Okay, this confirms that I'm mining. It is connecting to the mining pool. Now I'm going to stop here and I'm going to show you the other way of mining uh, that delivers better performance. So we just close this application. So this is the other way of mining using the programs directly. We have XMRIG for CPU and GMiner or Phoenix Miner for GPU. In the case of um, XMRIG, I modify the program. So I drop the donation fee to XMRIG from 1% to 0%. You get a little bit extra and I created this file that requests all the details that you need in order to start mining. So you don't have to configure anything. So the coin is the first thing that you need to enter. Save moon. Then you enter your address. Then you enter location, a name for the worker. Wait a couple of seconds and after that, uh, enter and the program starts. It makes all the connections to the mining pool. This confirms we are uh, mining at the moment. So let's leave it there for a while. Let's do the demonstration also with Gminer, for example. There is a start mining file. You just right click it, run as administrator, and the program will ask all the details. So we enter the coin, save moon. Then we enter the address, location. If the card has four gigabytes of memory, you type etc hash. If it has more than four gigabytes of memory, you type etc hash and then the name for the worker. This uh, um, loads the program, okay? I cannot mine with a one gigabyte card, so this is gonna give me an error. Um, this is just for demonstrations because this is the card that I use only for recordings, but the, it's very, very simple to start the program, okay? Once you start, you will see um, the DAG uh, being generated, it will get to 100%. After that, you will see all the connections to the mining pool and you will know you're mining. If we get back to XMRIG, you can press the letter H and this will read the um, hash rate, okay? In my case, around 1,600. Make sure that you increase your Windows virtual memory. You are connecting with um, wired internet instead of uh, Wi-Fi. You close as many programs as you can to uh, give more power to the CPU. Okay, this, all these little things will increase your hash rate. 
this is all there is to it. It's very simple. Uh, if I'm available to help in Telegram. The link is in the description. Just uh, send me any question uh, in relation to setup, optimizations, anything. I'm happy to help. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.